are playing the worst rated and highest rated Clash Royale ripoffs, starting out with the lowest one star reviewed games and working our way up to the highest five star rated ripoffs. And I'm also going to be giving each of these games my own personal rating. So let's jump into our first one star rated ripoff, Seven Kingdoms Clash. <laughs> We're already off to a terrible start. This game uses the direct art assets and music from Clash Royale. Are you joking? Like the towers are literally from Clash Royale. Same thing with the background. You can even hear these sound effects. Yo, why is he going to the left lane? <laughs> How much damage is that thing doing? That is insane. Wait, is that an invisible unit? Invisible skeletons? I have no idea what these cards do, but we're going to use them anyways. Okay, what, what happened? There it is. Is that my unit? Where did it go? Is it? What just happened to my unit? Where did it go? My one card is soloing his entire king tower. If you thought Clash Royale balance was bad, wait till you play Seven Kingdoms Clash because one card destroyed his entire arena. They literally even have the training camp from Clash Royale here. Oh, we got some free coins. Let's go. It makes me watch an ad. This game features a pretty extensive cast of cards, like the Fire Girl, who for some reason has no fire on her. How much you want to bet that golem that says get free is actually going to play an ad? Yep. I right, go to my text my new character. Where's my new golem? Where's my new golem? I watched an ad. Where's my golem? I just watched an ad. Oh, but we have the dragon though. Wait, so the game tricked us into watching an ad for the golem, but gave us the dragon? All right, dragon, show me what you're made of, buddy. I had to watch a whole... Where are you going? Okay, I had to watch a whole ad for you. Get in there. What are you doing? <laughs> is that supposed to be breathing fire? Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Yo, look how powerful this dragon is. Look at this thing. <laughs> Destroys the king tower in five shots? Yo, What? All right, so Seven Kingdoms Clash gonna get a solid zero stars from me just for ripping off all the Clash Royale assets and for tricking me into watching an ad. Moving on to our next one-star rated ripoff, we have Clash of Vikings. This one is so bad, it's not even listed on the App Store. We're playing it on our mobile browser. Let's do the tutorial over here. What do you got for us? Welcome, Viking. Let's start your training. The goal is to destroy enemy towers, drag and drop them to deploy your troops. All right, seems pretty simple. We're gonna walk up there. Oh, the King Tower's already activated. Okay, wait. That was the entire tutorial? Let's battle for real? All right, I'm ready. I've trained my entire life in Clash Royale to get to this moment here and beat Clash of Vikings. Wait a minute. Get Elixir? You could watch an ad to get Elixir? Yo, you could actually watch an ad. I'm surprised Clash Royale hasn't added that already. Pay gems to get free Elixir in battle or pay gems to repair your towers. I'm assuming the big guy in front is the giant. He's pretty beefy. He's got, he costs a lot of Elixir. Yo, can I use Fireball here? Rumble down this archer. Oh, boom. There we go. Come on. Go, giant. Go. He's throwing that tower. Archer, finish it off, please. Come on. Yes. There's what? 4, 8, 12, 16 cards in this game. This is obviously the free spell. This one, I'm assuming, what does this do here? Battle haste. Okay, basically rage. And that is basically Clash of Vikings. You have your home screen, you have your 14 cards, and you have your battle button. I'm gonna rate it one and a half stars. It didn't rip off Clash Royale assets, and it's a fun little mini game. Moving on to a two-star Clash Royale ripoff, we have Tribal Mania. Now, I really wanted to play this game, but unfortunately, I was not able to download it. But judging from these screenshots right here, it appears to be a direct copycat of Clash Royale from the UI to the combat. And taking a look at these reviews, they obviously haven't updated the game, so I don't think it's even live anymore. So unfortunately, that is zero stars for Tribal Mania. Next up is the three-starred Battle Island Commanders. World War II is at its peak, and a select few are sent to train with elite commandos to become the next wave of victorious commanders. You are one of those select few. It's basically horizontal Clash Royale. We have two towers and a boat. All right. Why not throw a boat in there? That <laughs> makes sense. Oh, uh, destroy their bunkers, destroy their boat. Okay. Light tank right here. What else we got? Finish this battle by destroying the enemy warship. That one's pretty familiar to Clash Royale. Just with boats and tanks and horizontal. What is this? Oh, it's a turret. I didn't mean to use it there. <laughs> Are we already destroyed a tower with two tanks? No idea why the warship would be parked so close to the island within range of these tanks. But hey, you do you. Let's use a rocket right here. Where's the rocket fire from? Why does the rocket not fire from our warship? <laughs> That'd be so much cooler. Ooh, what do we see? What do we get? What do we get? Three cards, gold, boxes, and a tank. Nice. Medium tanks tanking. Light tank going in. 
Once we destroy that bunker, I'm gonna go in with one more tank. One more medium tank going down. Yo, how does the rifleman take a direct blast from a cannon on a warship? Yo, those riflemen take three shots each? What kind of cannon is there? All right, let's do a real ladder battle over here. I don't know if anybody actually plays this game because I've been searching for a while and I literally cannot find an opponent. Yo, look at this thing. What even is that? Okay. That's what it is. I think I'll stick with three stars for this one. The graphics were okay. Combat was a little weird, but it seemed all right. Next up, we have the 3.9 star Clash of Wizards. Welcome to Clash of Wizards. In Clash of Wizards, you defeat the enemy mage when you destroy its mage tower. Kind of sounds like a king tower to me. That looks awfully similar to Elixir and Elixir bar from Clash Royale. Knight's going in. We have a rifleman going down to support. It's basically a knight and archer from Clash Royale. Attack enemy towers with arrows? Okay. I mean, we destroy whatever goblins he placed there. The knight goes in. But this is basically Clash Royale with a reskin and a different kind of units. Let's try this guy out right here. Orc Chieftain going down. Show me, my friend, why you are the chief of the orcs. I will support you with some riflemen and some arrows to destroy your goblins. Come in. Go, Orc Chieftain. Go. Can we destroy our first tower in Clash of Wizards? Yes. Look at the wizard on the wizard tower. Looks like he's dancing. What is he doing? <laughs> is that how he casts spells? I can't get over the wizard animation. <laughs> okay. Well, we got a three crystal victory. We get from our first chest over here. Gold. Ooh. Soldiers and an arrow volley. Oh, you can choose your colors. That is so cool. This right here would be super cool in Clash Royale. Being able to choose your avatar and your king color. Like, why is that not a thing in Clash Royale? That's super cool. Tell me this UI is not directly ripped from Clash Royale. Literally, the past looks the exact same. What do they got for cards over here? Oh, they even have the boosted thing from Clash Royale. Like, what? They have a decent amount of cards over here, though, eh? <laughs> The Mega Ray slowly charges up and then releases a devastating shot, inflicting damage with a slow down effect chance. A doomsday machine on wheels, aka the Sparky. What does the shop look like? The shop looks pretty similar to Clash Royale. I'm seeing a lot of inspiration over here. The gems are red though. Instead of being green, these are, these are red gems. And they even have Trophy Road. Look at this. All right, Clash of Wizards gets a solid two and a half star from me because they copied literally everything from Clash Royale. But I did like being able to choose your avatar and your color. That would be a cool addition to Clash Royale. Moving on to our next game, we have the 3.9 star rated Jungle Clash. All right, and this game for some reason looks like a copy of the Clash of Wizards, which was a copy of Clash Royale. So as we can see, we don't really have too much originality going on over here. Grenades going in. Get in there, scientists, with your robobots. Is this the rocket destroy, guys? Is this a rocket? <gasps> Ooh, let's go. Look at the way that guy is walking. How do his legs even move like that? Look at this dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna defend him right here. We're gonna watch that one more time. Watch this sniper guy one more time right here. Look at his legs. How do they even move like that? It's like his knees are bending backwards. Go rocket over here. Destroy everything, please. Rocket, go down. Boom, baby. Oh, what is this? Oh, we have a special unit that can spawn? The robots? Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I like it when the games add additional mechanics above and beyond what Clash Royale already does. It's basically like a champion, but instead of being in your regular deck, it spawns separately, and that way you wouldn't run into the three card cycle issue that champions currently pose to Clash Royale. Robot is slowly but surely eventually going in. Will he do anything here? What does the robot do? Will we ever find out? I need to know. It won't even reach that tower. The king tower's gonna destroy it in time. Unless, robot, what are you gonna do, my friend? Nope. <laughs> I'm not gonna support this robot anymore. I wanna see what it does. Will it even make it to the king tower? Oh, it's a missile in its back. Okay. I was wondering what that was. It goes in there. What does it do? What does it do? What does it do? What does, it do? does it explode? What does it do? It does a tiny bit of damage. Okay. <laughs> Go in and finish it off. Finish it off. Yes, sir. Restore victory. And once again, the UI is a direct copy of Clash Royale. Oh, but look at this. They have a global chat. I really like the fact that generals are a separate card than your traditional eight. And they actually have a decent amount of cards in this game. I mean, Death Ray would have sounded cool. 
but I guess Ray is, is fine. Jungle Clash, I'm gonna give you a 3.5 star rating. I like your use of the general, but everything else is a direct downgrade from Clash Royale. And that brings us to our first four star rated game, Century Siege Tower Defense Battles. Here we are with Century Siege. Once again, we have two lanes and a tower at the top and a tower at the bottom with two supporting towers, a familiar trend amongst these Clash Royale clones. What is this? Building a Tiki Hut will create a constant stream of Tikis. Oh, this is pretty cool. You have the ability to have designated building spots and an additional resource to build either defensive towers or spawners at these locations. That is super cool. Go in there, Elephant Rider. Go, my friend. Yo, okay. Come on, Elephant. Destroy the tower. And there we go. Boom. Three star. Okay, we're gonna use our spawners in deep and then our archer towers up high. That way they can protect our spawning units. Let's go four archer towers up high. And then we start spawning out the tanks. Elephant Rider going down. Go warrior up front. Spend 15 energy to charge your general's ability. They have a general ability too. Let's destroy over here. Right here, what does it do? Let's see this. Boom. It destroys whatever the highest health unit was. Maybe destroying those ones wasn't too effective, but it was the thought that counts, right? Oh, we can destroy their buildings. Let's use the bomber here. They will target their buildings first. Come on. Boom. Let's go. Yo, they even have a different UI. So where all the other copycats just directly copied the UI of Clash Royale, this game has actually made something unique. The deck screen obviously looks pretty similar, but not a direct copy. What do we got for cards over here? Zeus? Thor? Hercules? Amazon princess? Or princes. Does that mean there's more than one prince? And that is Century Siege. So this game was ranked four stars, but I want to give it a personal ranking of 4.4. I like the additional strategy of being able to place permanent buildings and having multiple resources in battle. And that brings us to our final game of the day, the 4.5 star rated Champion Strike. All right, Champion Strike, show me what you're made of, my friend. Show me why you're the highest rated game on this list so far. Try moving your champion. Oh, that's a pretty cool feature. Your king tower is basically your champion. You can move it around the arena. Can we kill with it? Oh, we totally can. Yo. All right, let's go back over here. Let's pull him within range of our towers. Get over here, my friend. Get within range of my towers. Yo, we can use our champion to go on offense and support our push? That is so cool. Oh, and you even gain access to their side of the arena. When your champion crosses the bridge, you can extend your deploy range. Oh, that is super sick. Let's try it out right here. Gremlin's going down. Look at them go in. Yo, even if you destroy the commander, you don't instantly win. You got to destroy all the towers here, which I'm honestly okay with. Goliath going in. Uh, range cards right there. Come on. And there we are with a three star. All right, Chess, what do you got for me? Gold. Cat archers, magic spears, and a griffin. Where is that griffin we got? Let's throw him into our deck here. Griffin, you're in. You can have eight cards in your deck plus your additional champion. What other champions do we have? Hecton, Maya, Vlad. Looks like kind of Dracula. Bricks and Regulus. Yo. All right, we're going in with our new champion and our new griffin troop. Oh, he's got a ranged attack. Okay, I wasn't expecting that, but I'm okay with it. Goliath up high here. Drop our griffin as well. Our new Griffin for support here. Come on, Leon. Get in there, buddy. Now we can drop the Gremlin troops on his side of the arena because our champion is over the bridge. Let's go in and swarm and destroy his champion. Magic Spears for support. What do they do? Basically like arrows. Okay, it makes sense. Let's target his champion first. Destroy the champion. Limited the DPS. I'm going to go in with the cat archers. There we go. You know what? I kind of like this. And they also have customizable avatars, which seems to be a feature that Clash Royale is sorely missing. So Champion Strike is my favorite out of all of these games. I'm going to give it a solid ranking of 4.6 stars. I really love the idea of a movable champion in battle. I've got one bonus game to review over here. It looks almost identical to Clash Royale, but for some reason, the Pass Rail is three times more expensive, and I cannot seem to find the Magic Coin or the Book of Books. And I can no longer earn crowns or chests from 2v2. It'll be a one star for me, Chief.